Hi guys, it's the Chappiness guy. So I'm gonna do an update today. Um, many people ask me very frequently about, um, what's it called? Derealization or depersonalization. And they it's, it's a question that comes up quite often. They are like, are you still dealing with it? How are you dealing with it? Is it 24 seven? Have you done anything to help it out? So uh, I used to have it since, since last year when this whole vestibular migraine condition started. I used to have the derealization 24 seven. It lasted for about, I'm gonna say, maybe eight, eight or nine months. Um, the one thing is that I started to use it to my advantage rather than being afraid of it. And what that means is like a lot of people, they, they get it, they get the symptom of, of okay, so derealization or depersonalization for the ones that aren't familiar with it. It's a, it's a sensation of, um, what's it called again? Uh, it's a sensation of, like things are surreal. It feels like you're in a dream-like state, like you're dreaming, like like you're not really you. Almost like you're having an out-of-body experience. Like like your soul is outside your body, and you're in, in a third-person perspective. Like like you can almost see yourself. It's so hard to explain. It's the people that have lived it; they know what I mean. The ones that haven't um, can can probably understand it. But it's like almost like you're dreaming. It's almost like you're you're intoxicated type of thing. It's really strange, and it does. It feels like nothing is real. So, uh, and it feels like you're just going through the motions. So, I used to have it for about eight or nine months, as I said, but I started using it instead of being afraid of it, uh, because I, I read a lot about it and I learned that the realization is mostly a, a, a self-defense mechanism that the brain u uses when is in in a high panic or in high alert situation. So, I what I did is, whenever I felt like that, I started doing things like extensive workouts i started working out until the point that i was sweating and sweating that i couldn't take it anymore and, and that will help i would also do a uh, meditation i will also do prayer i will also start laughing i will listen to comedies and i laugh and laugh and laugh and, and that sensation of laughing will kind of like ground me back to reality and the other thing that i did that helped me a lot was uh cold showers taking freezing cold showers for three minutes uh and breathing exercises uh, those those cold showers and those breathing exercises grounded me again back to reality, and the sensation of derealization went away. I get it every now and then, only if I'm having um, if I'm very symptomatic with the whole vestibular migraine stuff. I get it, but it's still again I, I'm I'm not afraid of it. When I get it, I I try to use it to my advantage and and work out hard or take a really cold shower or pray or meditate or do breathing exercises or again just listen to a comedy show and, and laugh as much as I can. So anyways, guys, don't be afraid of, of the depersonalization. Just use it to your advantage and it does go away. So keep hopeful and positive, okay? Have faith. All right? Find your chappiness, guys.